Hi, I'm Dan Waleen with CodeWithDan.com, and thanks for tuning into this first edition of the Code with Dan newsletter. Now, if you've already subscribed in the past, then you probably know that I took a rather long hiatus from sending out any newsletter editions. And the honest truth there is I just plain ran out of time. I ended up traveling a bunch around the world to do our architecture, our consulting and training we do. And it was kind of one of those things where I just plain couldn't fit in the hours it took to create each edition I would send out. So I subscribe to a lot of newsletters, you probably do as well. And one of the things I kind of have noticed over the last few years is I end up spending quite a bit of time just scrolling through, reading the headlines, seeing, nope, I'm interested. Yep, nope, nope. Most of them are no's and then a few yeses. And then sometimes it's just a quick delete, but that's after you know three to five minutes of scrolling through and trying to read. So you feel like you wasted your time. So what I'm gonna do now in this reboot of the Code with Dan newsletter is only provide a handful of items that for the most part will probably fit on one screen or maybe a little more so that you could quickly delete if you find nothing of value to you for that edition or keep it around. You can quickly scan it and say, ah, I like that, I like that, don't like that. And that way you don't waste your time. And that's really my goal. I wanna make this educational, but at the same time, I, don't, I respect your time and I don't wanna waste your time. So keeping with that spirit, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into just these handful of items I'm gonna have in this first edition. And in the future editions, I'll be adding more and more. So if you haven't subscribed, head over to codewithdan.com. Just scroll down to the very bottom. I try to make it very non-annoying and non-obtrusive. So scroll to the bottom if you wanna subscribe and we'll go from there. So let's jump into the first item. One of the technologies that's definitely getting a lot of press lately is progressive web apps. And if you're interested in this, there's a lot to it, but it's definitely worth looking into. Definitely one of those future technologies that I've started to dive into as well. This is a nice article, Beginner's Guide to Making Progressive Web Apps, because it breaks it down in very simple terms to start. It has a very simple walkthrough of kind of an app that you can get to. In fact, if you scroll to the very bottom of the article, there's even some code that will relate to this app right here that you can get to up on GitHub, and that makes it really nice to work with because you have a starting point. Another item I came across that I really liked was this Vue.js versus Angular versus React.js with demos by Benjamin Jacobus. And if I didn't say your name right, Benjamin, feel free to correct me there. Now, I'm normally not a fan of these blog posts that try to compare one to the other because typically there's a bias. And for instance, you know, somebody loves React and they're trying to make it sound like their blog is very neutral, but in reality, when they talk about Angular, they're just ripping it because they like React, and not a big fan of that. Uh, this one I thought did a great job overall of comparing some of the key similarities and differences. If you haven't heard of Vue.js, I really like it. It's like the next iteration of AngularJS, not Angular, but AngularJS. It's a very small library. It'll do some pretty powerful things. And then he goes through and actually has uh, code that you can walk through and demos and all that fun stuff and compares how you would use these three technologies. And I thought it was a nice little walkthrough. So if you're in the kind of work debate right now, which I know a lot of companies we go work with or do training with uh, are in this debate right now, you know, what do we go with, React or Angular? Or do we stick with AngularJS or what do we do? Then this will give you a nice little walkthrough of some of the different options from the older Angular to the newer Angular to React to Vue. A video I came across that I really liked was with John Galloway and Nate McMaster. And Nate walks us through using MS Build in .NET Core projects. I really liked it because although I know some of the fundamentals of CSProj files and kind of how MS Build works there, I have to admit it's not something I have to touch that much. So there are some tips and tricks he shows that I found really, really useful. I was like watching John as well. He's a super cool guy. So feel free to check out Nate and John's video. While we're on the subject of .NET, another nice series of posts that have been written by Steve Gordon cover Docker for .NET developers. Now, anyone that follows me on Twitter, or my blog, or Pluralsight videos or things like that knows that I'm a huge fan of Docker. And Steve has a really nice walkthrough of using Docker with .NET. This one talks about setting up EC2 container registries up on Amazon. But you can check out all the different series of posts that he has and learn more about Docker in your .NET apps. Now, the final one I want to show is actually on my blog. 
I maintain a series of Flipboard magazines at the very bottom. And all these articles I'm showing you that'll be in all the newsletters, they're scattered across these different Flipboard magazines. So as I read something, find value in it, I'll add it to a Flipboard magazine. Now, if you're not familiar with Flipboard, it runs on your phones, your tablets, your desktop, all that stuff. And it's a great way to get info. So for instance, if you're a Node developer, I can go over to my Node Flipboard magazine and all the good stuff that I find, I put in there. So for instance, if you wanna use Mongoose for MongoDB connections with TypeScript, there's an article on that and mastering async await in Node and more. So there's a whole bunch of good stuff in here. I mentioned that in the newsletter, I'm gonna to try to keep things very, very focused but when it comes to getting more details, if you really want to stay up on various technologies, you can see I have one on Docker, ASP.NET, uh, Azure, Node, client-side development in general, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and then one dedicated just to Angular, AngularJS, and the new Angular. So check that out if you're interested. Well, thanks again for tuning in to the Code with Dan newsletter. I hope you found the content here useful, and I have a lot of great stuff I'll be putting in future newsletters. If you do have some content, feel free to either contact me on Twitter at Dan Walleen or head over to codewithdan.com and there's a contact us and you can send me an email that way as well. So thanks again for your time and we'll see you next time around.